Hello, Qtron man. This is a reply to the third part of your your reply to me. Um, on the fish having rights to property, to your property, um, compared with your rights, you're saying basically that the fish has to be able to speak English and protect itself and make its own assertion of rights. And the idea that animals would need language, logic, or even concepts is a silly point, especially when you're objectivist and you say that these things can be drawn from direct reason. So whoever dr draws them has found out right and wrong. It's not like, well, that's right if you know. That's a more of a relativist, an extreme relativist position. Now, what about humans without reason? Because they don't have it like children yet or they, they're, you know, they're incapacitated in some way. Or what about those that have reason but don't exercise the reason? Do they not have rights either? And, and what about if someone is unreasonable, basically? I mean, you don't think they're reasonable. That means that in your system, they don't actually have rights. You know, this is all a lot of backflipping to justify Rand's abysmal and contradictory views on Indians because she was self-serving. She did not apply her own philosophy consistently. That's why there's elements of what she believed that, that you know, I could see why people might find them appealing. But overall, she did not do a good job with that. I also want to say other anim animals, I do believe, form concepts. Okay, words are for handling concepts. It's very important. It's a certain interface. It is what is special about humans. But all cognition is abstraction. All cognition is abstraction. Furthermore, the abstractions are mappings which we experience as metaphor. Okay, so all animals that if you can form an idea at all with the mind at all, it has to be an abstraction. You don't form a copy of what it really is. If anything, other animals have worse information about the world around them and form worse ideas. They're, they're not just abstract, they're, they're imperfect attempts at modeling but they're good enough and sometimes they pretty damn perfect in the in the parts that matter to that animal but all cognition is abstraction there's just, there's just no other way to think of cognition rather than abstraction so all animals form uh, concepts now we have a great flexibility in that and that is special about humans but you can't say that these other animals don't have access to truths we discover with a superior intellect. That is a relativistic idea. So, now, you talked about an outside person adding something missing. I, I encourage you to try to do that. I'm pretty conscious about how I reason, so I'll be surprised if, you, if, you, if I don't know something about how my reasoning works that you can point out. On the other hand, it's a truism, of course, we all reason when unconscious means that we don't fully understand, um, so that's a good challenge. Um, I've got this one done short.